What's going on everyone? We've got another LED light to try out. We've also got, instead of just the one light that I normally had up uh, here, we've now got another one up there and another one over there. And then the Mars Hydro light we tried out last time is actually uh, just over here. So a lot of light around us, hopefully gonna get a bit better quality out of this. I'm keeping an eye on the settings here so I was playing with exactly where we can have this uh, exposure at. The one darker we get these rolling bands, and if it gets lighter, the quality can fade pretty quickly. So the thing about here is good. Uh, still using the Brio, not back on my Oppo yet, because the Brio is 4K. It's not 60 FPS, but it should be able to look better than that last garbage video did. So this, I think, is as good as it gets. If this doesn't turn out as good, because I'm going to record this video, then another one with the Oppo straight after it. If it's no good, then we know, but at least it's a lot easier to manage. It doesn't drop out. I've got preview down there on the laptop so I can see what's going on. Uh, I really want it to work. I mean, really, I could have this LED and the other LED light above me up there, and then that would really light the area up. And the better lit the area is, the better the quality. Um, so essentially, I mean, it's less, it's less gain as far as I understand. But that's beyond the point. I'm not on the wine or the vodka today. I'm on the chook. Uh, which is excellent, subjectively excellent, kind of terrible really. Uh, we've got the WeGro WG600. Now, this was on special for $59 USD. I've actually already opened it, sorry, but we'll do a, a bit of an unboxing here for you. It's $59 USD, so it's about 75 Australian, which is what I care about. Comparatively, the Mars Hydro over there was $95 Australian. So this is cheaper. However, they don't ship to Australia. I had it sent to a forwarding box in the US and then had to pay 56 bucks shipping. So it actually came out 36 bucks more expensive. Uh, it could be worth it though. It really depends on the quality of this thing. Uh, whole pile of factors, availability, I guess a lot of these being used up at the moment, but I thought I'll get it. These are meant to be kind of one for one compare and they're both fairly cost effective. The only other thing is, as you can even see here, it's voltage isn't meant for Australia. It's 110 volt. Uh, I didn't even read that when I bought it. So I might have to do it. Let's have a look here. As I said, I have unboxed it before, but basically took it out. Don't fall over. Had a really brief gander and plugged it in to make sure it worked and put it back in the box. So bubble wrapping the cardboard packaging you saw there. I've already bent these like a moron to fit into a 240 volt. Don't do that, it's not good. I just, I rolled the dice on it in a safe environment. Ooh, scratchy. And uh, made sure it worked, which is the main thing. Since then, I've now actually bought this 110 watt inverter. Now, the other thing <laughs> is with the inverter, that was another 49.95. So one of these has now cost me almost two of those. One WeGrow cost almost two Mars Hydros. Uh, but, you know, it could be awesome. It may last way longer. And two is one, one is none. So I'd always recommend having two. I am just gonna go grab some pliers though, so that I can twist those ends back and we'll see how she looks. All right, as usual, we don't do this at home, but it's kind of, it's just a quick and dirty hack to make it work. So there you go, back to how she was. So we've got a pretty standard LED. I noticed that it sounds a bit scratchy. Um, it's pretty sharp metal there. So it draws 60 watts at 120 volts, 6,000 lumens. We can kind of test that. We can really compare it to what the other one did. The, uh, the Mars Hydro over there said 100 watts, I think, and drew about 95, 94 point something up there. Uh, didn't come with all the awesome weed stickers. It does come with this bit of pinch weld around the side, which is good. The other one doesn't have that. This does feel a bit slimmer. Um, I do not like that scratching though. I'm gonna put, oh no, nah, it'll, it'll be fine. I'm not using autofocus this time. So I've got to be careful about uh, not elevating anything really above this level. Now this does feel like it's conformally coated. However, this time, I'm not gonna put my hand on it and I'll electrocute myself whilst it's plugged in. Cause that hurt, that was real dumb. In here, we've got very, very similar clips. Actually, interestingly, we've got a little tape measure and some cable ties, that's, that's handy. We've got the same sort of clips. Let's just see how strong they are. Oh yeah, they 
feel about the same. They're probably out of the same factory. If we put them side by side, that's the, that one. Now, here's the one from the Mars Hydro. All right, these are definitely a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger, it looks like. This part's nearly the same, but the clips are stronger and thicker. And then, this lifting mechanism looks very similar too. So if you compare what came with the Mars Hydro, they're actually exactly the same. Exactly, exactly the same. Slightly different cord, but yeah, I'm going to call them the same. So they probably come out of the same place, uh, which is a good sign. It means these are actually going to be all right. They're going to be adequate quality. So let's get this out of the way. Get this in. Let's actually move this guy over here. And this also has a little off to bright dial. Um, the audio here, no, I just noticed is clipping a little bit, so I'll hopefully fix that in post. But let's um, plug this in, put my sunglasses on, because I know what this is like. Turn it on. Okay. All right, that's, uh, it's giving a lot of flicker. Let's see if I can adjust that flicker. In fact, let's turn it up first, see how bright it gets without uh, the audio exposure. There is a buzz definitely coming out of that thing. I don't think it's coming out of here. But you can immediately see three, four different variations. So infrared, warm, cool, and red, uh, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can fix that flicker on the camera a little bit. I think we'll just have to, nope. Whoa, there she goes. All right, what if I change the power line frequency? No, nothing. All right, so unfortunately we're getting an insane amount of flicker. Autofocus, all right. So that's all right. I don't know if that quality's just gone to garbage though. I actually can see the flicker on here with my eyes, touching with my sunnies because I'm not dumb today. So turn it up. I've got auto exposure on now, but it's, I don't know what I'm doing. So this could have gone to terrible quality. I can't tell with this 720p crappy web, uh, laptop I'm using to monitor it, but at least, uh, at least we haven't got the flicker now. So turn that off afterwards. And for now I'll crank it up. We'll get a few minutes to heat up and we'll see how hot it gets. The matter of interest as well, let's see here. At max, it's drawing 51 watts. So it's actually drawing a little bit more than, uh, or that half of what the other one did. Um, more than it's rated, that, uh, less than it's rated, but that may be the limitation of this thing, which is only 50 watts, whereas this one's 60 watts. So let's give it a minute to heat up and see what happens. Interestingly, looking at them both side by side, which is a tad difficult, I can't do it with the camera, but I'm physically looking at them both side by side, the brightness looks very similar. What I am noticing though, is this has less LEDs over here than the Mars Hydro does over here. Uh, I haven't even looked at the LED count. This one says nothing about the uh, amount of LEDs it's got, I think. 6,000 lumens, yeah. Pile of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 16 by... One, two, three, four, five, six. 16 by 12 minus four. And this is one, two, three, four, six, uh, 12, 16 by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 15. All right, so yeah, definitely more over there. That probably accounts for the usage. Uh, doesn't make the price disparity any less good though. So, put this thing back. I'm seeing a similar temperature, seeing about 32 degrees. We got up to about 36 last time. It probably depends where on the board we're really pointing this. So, yeah, 34 point something. So, I think the temperatures are going to be very much the same. They've got very similar structure using uh, the metal frame to dissipate the heat. They're both silent. This does have this little turn it down thing, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I really do like that. I can't see now. Awesome. Um, 
What I'm curious about, if we turn this off, we'll get the multimeter into it, and just see what board voltage we're getting here. Because one of the things I was really curious about, the other one had a board voltage of 90 from memory, and... There's a difference. This isn't gonna work. This is actually using, the board's wired for AC voltage, which is why we'll get that rolling flicker. So let's just turn that back off. Um, is that the right settings? Man, I'm just tweaking my... And why is it doing that? So auto, auto off again. Yeah, cool, that'll go. So yeah, as we can see here, that's the AC lines coming straight in by the looks of it. It says they're neutral and live, which is representative of AC. There's no buck converter. It certainly wouldn't be in here. Uh, it just doesn't say, it doesn't have an output or anything. It's just rated for up to 100 watts. So that's why we had the rolling flicker, which we didn't get with the other one. So this being AC has its pros and cons. Probably makes it much easier to design. Uh, you can see they've got very, very thick tracks here, but it also means that we can't run it off our low voltage system or off our DC system, whereas that one we could run off the DC system. So I'm not even gonna bother testing it. We're getting zero to 110 through there. We know that, don't need to test it. <clears throat> really not sure what else to say, I guess. All in all, this thing, Costs nearly twice as much, it's half as powerful. You don't have an option of running it off DC. It's quite flimsy and sharp on the back. It come with weed stickers. It does have the pinch weld. It was a bit bent in transit too, but you can bend the back. It does have the pinch weld. It does have this little thing, but I mean, that's, that's an analog device. So you could put on any, uh, you know, any inline sort of dial to make that happen with another one. I don't know how well it worked with Mars Hydro. I mean, with the, yeah, the Mars Hydro over there, but with this one at least, it's built in, so it's, it's a slight positive. The ruler and cable tires, bit novelty there. If you hang one of these, probably got these things. So I don't think I'll be buying another one of these, but it's handy to have. And uh, I'd say if they started doing, say, free shipping to Australia, then it's worth it. Uh, if it was free shipping to Australia, I would have been able to get it here for two thirds the cost of that one. And, oh, it's really close at that point. It's really, really close. I need some way to measure their actual light. Oh yeah, I didn't do that. Bloody hell. Lux meter. Let's have a look at what's going on. So I'm gonna turn the auto exposure back on. Gonna crank this one up. We have about 80,000 lux on the other one from about six inches. So if we turn this on, all right, it's maxed out there already. And if we go range 10 is maxed out, 100, about 300. Hmm. Yeah, nowhere near. I don't know if you guys can really see what's going on there. So from about the same position as last time, we're getting some readings in the, uh, that's annoying, getting some readings in the 300-ish range, not the 800-ish range. And we got up to a thousand, we were a bit closer before, but here we're getting to the 400s. Really close to get the 500s, but like to get 800, I'm nearly electrocuting myself. It's not a plant distance. So, it's actually not, it, yeah, it's not worth its price. With free shipping, I wouldn't buy it. The Mars Hydro is better, and I reckon that probably comes down to LED quality and the fact that it's running off AC. Jeez, that can go away. So, LED quality and AC, uh, unfortunately, make it not worthwhile. I could get over the flimsiness, I can get over the sharp metal, but it's not gonna happen, guys, I'm sorry. I do appreciate what you're doing, I think it's great. I've got to say as well, actually, the support's been really terrible. So trying to talk to them on Reddit or email or, uh, you know, the little chat thing, their English was great, but they never respond. I had to send a couple of messages before I get a response and they didn't understand it properly. So that was difficult. They ended up quoting 125 for shipping to Australia, which is before I sent it to a US uh, 14 service. So 
just just get better. You've got good opportunity. People love LED lights. You guys are hitting a new market. I know you do have new ones out now that have better quality LEDs, but again, you're not shipping to Australia. It's probably still an AC board to be confirmed. And, yeah, and uh, the, the build quality is not quite there. If you're gonna do this lower build quality, that's perfectly fine. There is definitely a market for these cheaper ones. However, make it cheaper then. This here, minus my freight forwarder, should have been half the cost of that one, which is a market that doesn't really exist. Even at, yeah, but same amount of lumens, but it sh just should have been half the cost. I don't know if you're not manufacturing at volume enough, or if you haven't got uh, the buying power, which I guess is volume, or if you're just making a huge amount of markup, but, but you can do better guys, make it better. I'll, um, I'll get back to you one day with another test of a hundred dollar-ish model that uh, should be 60 to 100 watts and see how it goes. Anyway, to you people watching this, uh, not the people making this, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm a bit disappointed, but it's educational apparently. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the down below if you have any questions or you want to know more. Feel free to reach out with any other ideas too. I do have a lot of crap to test, but I do like hearing back from you. So look forward to seeing you next time. Till then, take it easy.